Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Dozer, Dozer Drives, and I am sorry I have been away for so long. Uh, it's been uh, just a, a trying few months, so yeah, I had to stay away from. Well, not had to, but I just couldn't uh, see myself filming anything until this came along. This just got me so excited that I had to um, get back into it, you know. Um, this is the Hyundai Staria. This is like the top spec. Uh, can't get any better than this for 1 million 120,000 Rand. Yeah, it's a pretty cool car. Um, had a really, really nice time with it. Uh, nice, nice week. Uh, did the family thing, kids with uh, their friends, also my friends in the car. I had like eight people in there. Um, and yeah, it's just uh, one of those um, weeks where, I don't know, uh, <laughs> It's just a happy week when you have like a, a bus, man, and you, and you can like involve uh, a lot of people in what you do. Uh, so I just want to run through a few things, just a little, you know, some things that, uh, you know, got me excited about the car and um, are a big selling point, I would say, um, compared to the traditional, uh, you know, um, VW Caravelle, uh, the fn car uh, this is what it competes with um, and yeah this this thing holds, holds it, it, its own yes uh, the whole thing about uh, wi-fi router and all of that i think you need to see this thing in person it is a neck snapper it is an eye puller of the friends that i took maybe about 75 percent said this thing is they said it was ugly until they spent time with it and saw it you know uh, they spent a whole sunday just driving around cape town uh with it and there's no being ashamed to <laughs> to be seen around this car so let's just walk around quickly okay it's it's got uh yeah all the autom automations that you can think of in a bus um okay don't mind don't mind this um, it was stuck. It was stuck here and I got it out. So that's why the wheels are a bit uh, Messed up, but I just wanted to film here. It's nice and quiet and uh, on a bit of a dip But yeah, this um, All the automations that you can think of folding mirrors um, Or this LED strip here. That's really really nice at night uh, you can't really see anything now, but uh, then you've got the LED headlights. These are the headlights. That is just a daytime running light. Uh, it's two strips here, daytime running lights, and then at night when it's uh, when you've got the lights on, the whole thing goes on, even here in the middle. You've got automated doors. As per, you know, these uh, classy... Um, buses um, what's cool about this bus okay this is a top spec now it's a nine seater um, there's four captain's chairs not not just two that um, that rotate but there's four of them um, okay these ones don't rotate but these ones do and what's cool is they are heated and cooled seats right here at the back and so are those at the front there the back is also automated and There's not much space there at the back, but uh, let's uh, let's climb in the front and just quickly go through all the nice stuff. Bose sound system. I think there's like uh, 13 speakers in here. Okay, this infotainment is uh, pr 
pretty basic but gives you all the functions um, that you normally get on radio right um, connecting your phone and everything there's not, there's not even like a built-in navigation you have to get the navigation through your phone when you connect your Apple CarPlay on your Android phone uh, but the reason for not everything being in there is because everything has buttons there's a few buttons here that you can see um, cool seats heated seats climate control uh, just switching off the park distance um, switching on the camera there's a lot lots of cameras here there's like a 360 degree setup then you can choose what you want uh, what you want to do here what's another curious thing for a lot of people was this gear selector this gear selector is buttons so all you just do is press the buttons there to to select what you want the gear that you want that's drive reverse park or neutral if you want to switch to uh, manual then you've got you've got these um pedals as soon as you touch them the car will go into manual mode it's a eight speed single clutch gearbox i don't know if it's a zf um gearbox but it's not a, it's not a gear clutch it's, a, it's an eight speed single clutch uh you've got drive modes you've got uh, normal you've got eco and then you've got sport and these actually really work, eh? They really uh, change the profile of the of your drive. Electronic parking brake, um, traction control off button, and up here you've got a manual. There's two. There's two um, sunroofs here. There's a manual one right at the front, and then there is a rear one. Just to get some light in there at the back pretty pretty cool obviously you can open only the front one only the front one can open and trust your lento yeah um, up here also you've got the buttons to control your doors the rear doors or you can just um, switch off i was using this button a lot because my kids were just pressing and pressing at the back there i've got sun blinds for the rear windows eh? um, i've got those down um, because of yeah my kids uh, and uh, windows yeah um, they touch and touch Gets the car really, really dirty really quickly. Lots of storage, deep, deep storage. Um, I'm not sure if you can make, you can uh, expect this to be a fridge, but yeah, that would be that would be pretty cool. Um, two U normal USBs and USB A's and a. Uh, 12 volt plug wireless charging for your for those phones that support that function okay so at the back uh, the storage continues here and also the connectivity there's lots of uh, uh, USB a plug points to here and two back one is here and one is there and right at the back there's only the 12 oh, oh I thought it was 12 volts socket so there's more uh, USB A plug points there and that side Let's fix that. obviously with this seat at the back um, sitting like that upright there's no there's not much of uh, boot space 
So you have to um, fold that seat at the back <coughs> to get your your luggage in there. Um, some interior interior lights here, just to add a bit of ambiance to the vehicle. And what's funny, <laughs> everybody's been playing around with this, is the guy at the the lift. Second row left can play with the passenger seat and just kind of fuck around with this guy here um, from the back. And also the passenger here can has um, buttons on the side of the chair there that they can um, that they can operate their own chair. Uh, what's missing with I think with this bus is you know those tray tables those tray tables for you know long distances and having lunch on the road um, I think that's a big miss uh, should have um, should have had those eh? um, you've got cup holders here and there's like more cup holders on the door there both, both doors more storage here It's a pretty, pretty neat vehicle that, uh, yeah, begs to be to be looked at as an as an alternative to to the usual, you know, Car Caravelle and V Class. More storage, <coughs> more storage. Let's just see. Okay, it's on eco mode now. If you can just check the fuel consumption, that the, the manufacturer claims 8.7. Um, I did a thousand kilometers, and I've got 8.6. So yeah, in terms of tech, let's just see. So we've got uh, that 360 degree camera is courtesy of there's a camera underneath this this uh, mirror and underneath that mirror um, so when you indicate those activate to the direction that you are looking at that you are indicating to and it shows you the blind spot and it shows you your rear wheel so that when you turn into like a robot or whatever traffic uh, intersection you don't turn into you don't curb your wheels you know on, on, on the pavement and also you know gives you shows you your blind spot basically um, you've got drive modes here normal eco and sport those are and those really really work eh? they there's a there's a, a a difference in the in the input of the throttle when you are on the different modes um in terms of radar radar guided guided cruise control radar guided oh. in terms of radar guided cruise control uh you've got you can choose the distance that you want to follow and it, the car can drive itself this bus is actually very very good even in the worst weather i had like it in, i had it on like ter terrible terrible rain and the car just uh, keeps the lane and it keeps it for a long time eh? it keeps like it doesn't like remind you every 10 seconds to um to keep your hands on the steering wheel it will drive itself for so up front underneath the bonnet you've got a 2.2 liter turbo diesel engine same engine that's been used on like the Santa Fe and but here it gives you 130 kilowatts and 430 newton meters it is not tuned to the 
So it's not tuned to the same exact power as the you know the center phase um, power of uh, 142 kilowatts and 440 newton meters. But uh, yeah, guys, I just wanted to uh, just show you quickly. Um, had a really really nice uh, time with this car, and yeah, it just kind of excited me, and I yeah just wanted to. Get myself back into the swing of things uh, shooting videos again um, and yeah this was a very very good car to just get back to the swing of things um, i'll be doing some more there's more cars coming more exciting cars coming and i'll be doing some more of those just to, just quick walk arounds i see i i know a lot of people they don't uh, they don't like to watch um, a lot of uh, blah 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 which is what i i usually do they want to just quick walk around and that's what I'll be doing for you from now on. Uh, catch you on the next one. Please subscribe.